YouTube or Drive. I'm so confused about where to keep my videos. If you're tired of second guessing yourself and just want a clear answer, this video is for you. I will explain the pros and cons of each option so you can finally feel confident about organizing your precious video memories and work projects. Before we dive in, did you remember that YouTube is actually part of Google? If you have a Gmail or Google Workspace account, you already have a YouTube account. Let me know in the comments below if you already knew that YouTube and Google are related. Choosing where to save your videos depends on two things. First, what do you want to do with the videos once they're stored? And how much storage space do you want to pay for? So how to know where to store your videos, Google Drive or YouTube? Both Google Drive and YouTube are possible places to store your videos. Both are cloud storage, meaning that your files are not physically located on your computer. In both platforms, you can watch the videos on a computer or in the phone app. Both apps have at least three levels of viewing permissions, so you can keep your videos private, shared with a few people, or they can be public. The advantages of Google Drive are that you are storing the raw file in its highest quality, that you can save the video in a folder with other files for that project or client, that you can easily share the original video file with a virtual assistant, social media person, or a video editing person so that they can use the file in their workflow and they can put the edited video file in a different Google Drive folder. The biggest disadvantage to storing your videos in Drive is that video files are large and they take up a lot of storage space. So you may need to pay for more storage if you decide this is the best option for your workflow. A few reminders about Google Storage. Google Storage includes everything in your Drive, Gmail, and Photos. Individual Gmail accounts come with 15 gigabytes included, while Google Workspace accounts either include 30 gigabytes or two terabytes per person, depending on which plan you're using, starter or standard. Back to YouTube. The biggest advantage of YouTube is that videos stored here do not count against your Google storage. So you can store videos there for free. This is the biggest advantage if you have a lot of videos. More advantages of YouTube are that YouTube is definitely better for sharing videos with the public. You can create playlists of related videos that can be watched continuously. People can comment on the videos, so there's more opportunity for interaction with an audience. And it is definitely easy to embed YouTube videos in a website or marketing email. The two drawbacks to YouTube are that video files do need to be somewhat compressed for YouTube so that it can play back easily while streaming. So this should not be your only copy of the video file if compression is important to you. Also, you do need to be extra careful about the visibility permission settings on each video so that you don't accidentally share it with the world if you don't intend to. Also, a reminder that no matter which cloud storage option you use, it is always recommended to have your videos backed up on an external hard drive at your house if you really want to keep them safe. To review, should you use Google Drive or YouTube to store your videos? Google Drive houses high quality video files in folders that are easily shared with your team to use in a workflow while YouTube houses compressed video files that are easy to share with the public, embed in websites, view in continuous playlists, and comment on. So, which option sounds better for you and why? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you have similar questions about where to store your photos, watch my video on when to save photos in Google Drive versus Google Photos. Also, if you have a YouTube channel of your own, please drop the link in the comments below. I'd love to see what you are up to. I look forward to helping you succeed.